Hello, this is Pamela the Stampin' Pink Rose, and this is a technique video, very quick, short videos that I like to do on Wednesdays. And I was digging through all my paper because I'm using a lot of the gold foil, and I noticed I have a whole stack of silver. I don't know how I managed to duplicate so many extra silvers, but I did. So I have a lot of silver, and I said, Hmm, I want to do something different with that silver. I need to use it on something. So I decided to dig out my embossing folders. And the one that I used here is, I believe, a pine one. And what I did was, I the blendabilities are back in. And I got some blend, blendabilities here. And I grabbed them. And on this one, I took my green... And you don't want to use the lightest. I took it and I simply colored it. So I dug out another one of the um, embossing folders. And this one is a dotted one. And I'm not doing a full sheet because I'm not doing a project with it. But this is going to make a neat background on a card for you. So I've got the embossing folder here. I've got my big shot here. Now remember, always when I get the big shot up the way I've got my camera, you may not necessarily see exactly how to run the big shot through. I do have videos showing you how to use your big shot if you are having trouble. Now I'm going to move this over uh, using your big shot. And you aren't sure and you're rather new. You can always scoop me an email. But it's kind of hard to get the whole thing in. But, so I'm going to show you what I did. I'm just running this simply through my Big Shot, like we always do. I'm going to put this down. I'm going to bring my plate over. I'm going to make sure I am, yep, yeah, I'm centered. I tried to do it with the crossbars here on it. So now I'm embossed. Do you see what I have done? Okay, now I'm going to take my blendabilities. And by the way, those are going to be available for you to order starting November 1st. So if you're interested in getting them, uh, I will have uh, all that information on order. But you can always go to my DBWS. Just simply go to Stampin' Pink Rose. Um, and that's my blog site. And up there you will see where it says shop. Click on shop and it will take you directly to. Now I'm doing a pink one. I don't know how the colors are going to do. I just grabbed one. Okay. That seems a little light. Try the under end. Nope, that's the wrong tip. Okay. Let me grab another one. Let's see. I've got a yellow here. Let's do the yellow. The yellow showing up. You're going to have to play, and it's going to depend. Maybe you want to get the lacy floral, and that'll work good with it. Notice I am just going over to random spots picking it, coloring it with my blendabilities, and there's a green one here. I'm going to do a green one up here, and I'm coloring in the little holes, okay, on this one. This one, I'm kind of coloring in the holes, and I'm just doing it randomly. Okay, no particular order. Okay, I'm probably not looking the best. Probably could figure out my colors a little better. But anyway, the blendabilities will be back, and you'll have a light and a dark to order. They come together. You can order a pack with your colors, and you'll be able to do it. But look what you can do with foil. So. With this one here, I kept it all one color, and I simply took my green, and I just simply went right over it like this, 
and I colored it. That's all I did. And it's the same I went on the dots with this one. But this is just a quick, different way. And with the blendability, you're going to be able to um, color different things. And you're going to see me coloring different things from time to time. Because I just absolutely love the blendabilities. And I am so thrilled that they are back in stock. So it's going to be fun to use them. But anyway, so you could get your... Let me go grab that. Hang on. I just grabbed one of my right markers. I didn't bring them out. Let's do this real quick. I've still got a spot available. See, that's going to come off. We can see in time if that sets up. But I think it's going to come off. That's why the blendability is so great because your color is permanent. It's an alcohol base, so your colors are permanent, and they won't um, come off like this. See, now, bring this back. See, this one's staying. The red is coming off. See what happens. I wanted to call your attention to that. Because those are not an alcohol base, they are not permanent on this. On your foil they are permanent when you get them on your paper but they're just not permanent on here and I don't think even with drying will they stay truthfully you know but they will be with your blendability so I want you to think about getting the blendability colors I'll have a list on my site as soon as they become available which is November 1st you can order them at that point um, you can always see about with the foil taking the, uh, your sponge and doing some sponge dobbing if you're doing the leaves and everything. I think it would be a little hard with the dotted one, but with this one you might be able to take your sponge go over the leaves. Anyway, have fun with the foil. Think about the blendabilities are coming in about two weeks. Uh, I'm getting all excited about it and I want you to get excited about having them because you're going to find they're wonderful to color in all the different uh, scenes that you want to do on your cards and your projects. All right, this is Pamela the Stampin' Pink Rose with another uh, Tuesday technique. Should be a quick, easy one for you to give it a try. Have a great day and thanks for joining me. And by all means, check out my blog, The Stampin' Pink Rose, where stampin' ideas are always in bloom. And you can always order on my site. As I said earlier, up the top, you'll find Shop Now, and you can click there. Do sign up for the newsletter because everybody is getting the 12 weeks of Christmas right now. And I just sent the third week out. So if you sign up, you may still get in on the third week of Christmas where these are ideas from other Stampin' Up! demonstrators, not just my ideas. So you get a lot of different views and techniques of what others are using. Have a great day and thanks for joining me.